company is called Well Built Kettlebells, which would you know leave people wondering, well, do you make kettlebells? We did. Originally, that's what we did. We, we were making American-made kettlebells, and it happened right before the right at the onset of the of the pandemic. And you know, there was that huge iron shortage um, in the states, anyway, because you know they outsource all their manufacturing overseas. And then there was only a couple foundries, iron foundries, that were making kettlebells in the states, so they couldn't keep up. So anyway, I, I had a local foundry. We got to, we got to work together, built a relationship. We started selling some kettlebells, and I helped them design one. And and then it was more of a handshake relationship, and it, and it, it kind of went south when they started coming out with their own kettlebells and started competing with us. And I, it was anyway, it dissolved, and. From that point, we had to had to pivot, and that's where the kettlebell backpack was born. It was you know out of adversity, right? You, you kind of go, well, shoot, that didn't go out as planned. Now let's pivot here. And the thing about you know trying to play in that kettlebell game is there's some already some really large players, you know, brands that do a really good job. And it's just kind of a race to the bottom. The margins aren't great, so I'm like, you know what? I got to brainstorm I'm like how can we find a way that could complement the kettlebell training and I like you or like any other kettlebell enthusiast that will listen to this is probably when they've gone on a weekend trip somewhere or they wanted to go on a hike and they maybe had to drive to the, the park to get there and they have a kettlebell rolling around in their trunk of their car and you're like, gosh, I hope I don't get in an accident because this thing's gonna decapitate somebody. <laughs> I, I mean, I've had that kind of, I had that thought so many times. I'm like throwing pillows and towels around them so they're not clanking together. And I'm like, there's gotta be a better way. And you know, that's where the backpack was born. And I just got to brainstorming and an idea, you know, talked with some people and started to came up with a prototype and and then just kind of keep fine-tuning from there. And I mean, personally, I love it because it allows me so much more freedom to do what you love to do, Jason, and that's work out outside. I mean, I still like in the winter time, I'll, I'll do most of my workouts in my garage. But when it's nice out, man, I love getting outside and whether it's at a beach or whether it's at, we don't have mountains here, but we have these tall bluffs and overlooking the valley. And uh, I love doing workouts in those locations and getting out in nature. There's something about I mean, obviously there's a lot of health benefits to being outside more often, but when you start combining the two, I'm a big outdoorsman too. Not, not just in the sense that I like to be outside, but I love to, I love to fish. I'm a big, big bow hunter. So I spend a lot of time outside and I, and I just love being a part of nature that way. So it's a way for me to kind of combine my path, my passions. So when I'm out scouting, whether it's for, for, for deer hunting or turkey hunting, I throw that my backpack on and I throw, you know, like a 35 pound kettlebell. And when I'm out scouting, I'm getting a workout in. I get, it's like weighted hiking, you know? I don't always take it out and, and, you know, snatch it, swing it and do all those things, but it allows you to do some weighted hiking and weighted walking. Uh, the other day, uh, we had a snowstorm. This was probably a couple weeks ago. I threw it on my back while I was snow blowing. You know, people probably look at me like I'm crazy, but I'm like, I'm killing two birds with one stone right here. I'm being efficient. <laughs>